Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tell Me Why. Last time we f uh, left off, we found out that some uh, things with Marianne may not be as they seemed in the first place. She seemed way more supportive of having a trans child than she came off as to Tyler, so... See if we can find out some more stuff about that. Uh, maybe Tessa has answers. Must be nice to forget. Maybe Tessa has answers. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word, was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Why rush the house sale? So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know, trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. <sighs> well... It would be a shame if there was something to find and... We tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. Okay. Uh, is something wrong? You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. That book changed everything. And then we found the book, and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Wasn't ready to come back. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. I was hiding from everyone. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. We have a plan? So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. Alright. Deal. Look at you two getting along. Holy's diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was yeah. I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. That's... I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. That sucks when people just actively refuse to call you by the thing you wish to be called. The name you wish to be called. Okay, probably gonna need to cue this. Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom all almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy's sport. 
I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Hmm. She is such a suck up with the giant tongue. Yeah, I should probably pay attention to some of these uh, bits of art we got here. What is this? Praying. Them getting chased by some kind of fire breathing monster. Hockey mom. Oh, yeah. These are cute little drawings. Alright. Lightsaber goblins. Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great, but Mom found out we watched it and got mad. She said it glory it war. Zyom zyom. Would Mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault. Mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us. In a few days. Ali said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. Do this, do that. I am sick of her voice, and I am also sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Hmm. I see, and is that the last one? Looks like it is. We can't turn again, so... Not very many pages in this diary. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. That time we tried to cross or we lived in our own world. You guys tried to cross the frozen lake? Oof. That's, that's like horror inducing. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah. How can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. I still wouldn't feel safe doing that, personally. <laughs> I've seen way too many movies where people fall on the ice, and it sounds... and looks horrible. Uh, ooh, ring. Nice ring. Gift from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. Yeah. At least the glacier's still there. You have to wonder just what kind of stories it could tell. You know, if it had a mouth. Uh... Remember the ice cave? She thought it would melt. Well, I mean, glaciers are melting a lot in Alaska now, from what I hear, so... Remember the ice cave? Remember the ice cave? The old bear's den? That's the one. It would have made a perfect secret base if we'd ever been able to find it again. You know, I actually went looking for it a few years ago. Really? No way. So? We found it, but the entrance had collapsed. Ah, bummer. Man, I wish I had a secret cave hideout. That would have been amazing. It gives me the option to examine that again, but I'm not sure if this is just gonna look at the book again. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't need to. I don't, I didn't know if maybe there'd be something new. We'd flip to a different page. Up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people. Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Yeah, I would love to move to a place like this with snow and mountains and trees and stuff. Oh gosh, that would be amazing. She did have a plan. I could be a ranger. I could be a ranger. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Mm, look at the town. If you squint, you can almost forget Talos Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. Are you ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. Yeah, you're never really asshole free, are you? 
So Della's Crossing, I mean, shocker, I know based off of the location that we're currently in, probably not the most, uh, accepting and inclusive place, I imagine. Well, guess we better get going. Here, I thought you'd never tear yourself away. Yeah, sorry. Views like this, I just tend to get lost in them. Go ahead, I'll catch up. I need to respond to a message. Uh-huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Yeah, sorry, I gotta examine everything in the environment before I leave. Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No known in Tyler's. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Uh, I also hear the... They're, they're doing some mowing or something outside. I'm a bit worried. I hope it doesn't get much louder. It sounded like they were kind of far away, so I'm a bit worried. Maybe I should wait for a bit, but I don't know. I am a man. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? Like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Uh, a few bad memories, too. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Uh, this place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But... Maybe some good ones, too. Whew. Okay, so we can speak with our voice. Hmm. Yeah, when I when I ch when I chose a couple of bad memories, too, I didn't expect Tyler to really go that hard. <laughs> um, I was like, oh, he's just going to say, yeah, we have some bad memories here, too. But he's like, oh, no, the gun that we did that our mom tried to shoot us with is also here. Even though we're kind of learning now that maybe that 
wasn't the case. Maybe Tyler got the wrong idea. We still have yet to see, but seems like we're kind of jumping to conclusions here. Of course, that is the story they've both known for so long, so... He's hammered? He's hammered. Ellie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. All right. <laughs> Were you too close? How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. Well, I heard what happened that night. Well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. The puzzle on her door? What, what is the option to speak again? Okay. Uh, the puzzle on her door. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, uh so, uh, I guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. Like how she was blinking the repairman, Sam. So you were a bit closer than you thought, huh? Or rethought. Alright, we should go. <clears throat> we should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? I mean, I've asked everything, haven't I? Let's try, I have more questions. Just to be sure. Mm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Is this just going to take us back to the same questions, or is Tyler going to have new questions now? No, okay. So that was that was just a confirmation. Alright. This system of being able to talk to each other while doing this is cool, though. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to help us. <clears throat> He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right, yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. <laughs> And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, they're, they're yours, I, uh, uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah, well, uh, Take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, 
go on. I'll be right behind you. Well, that went better than I expected when he walked in with a gun. Um, I wasn't sure who that was, but luckily it cleared up pretty quick, and... Uh, yeah, he, uh... He has some, uh, ideas about trans people, it seems, but at least he wasn't, like, outright, like, getting angry with Tyler. He was more just very flippant and dismissive of Tyler transitioning. But, uh, at least he didn't pick the gun back up. The way Tyler's talking, <laughs> uh, that might not be how it goes once we actually hit Dallas Crossing proper over here. Seems like the people here, uh, might not be too tolerant. Chopping some wood. Well, you look cool. I like your hair. And your jacket. Man, this really is an old truck. <laughs> There it is, Fjord. <clears throat> ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. I don't know what that means, Allison. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So, I'm yeah. guessing this is Michael? Yeah, something tells me, um... That she's not going to be, uh... Very... Nice to Tyler. Like, your memories of them when you're a kid are very different of your... Of what you'd think of them now that you're an adult and you're grown up. And yes, we are playing as Allison now. So we are gonna switch between you two. I was thinking for a second we'd just play as, uh, Tyler. I keep hearing noises, and it's stuff in the game, but I think it's stuff outside. It keeps freaking me out. I'm like, oh no. It sounds like there's like planes or some kind of noise or something. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Tyler. Keeping you waiting. Gaz. Not gas, gaz. 497. Hey, you. Hey, <laughs> isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. <laughs> Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co-worker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um... Maybe gonna be roommates? Um, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. How can I say no to that? <laughs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. 
Well, Michael seems cool. I like Michael. Seems very friendly. Everything. Vote Tom Vecchi Mayor. I don't think I will. I don't have much confidence in uh, the mayors that they're going to be electing around here, but it also could be one of those circumstances where he's also the only option. Seafood steaks, coffee ales. Ooh, a snowman. Wow, they really do like their Vecchi stuff here, huh? Happy snowman. I imagine the snowmen around here probably stay for quite a while. If I had to guess. Ooh, what's going on over here? I hear noises. Oh! Memory? Ooh, okay. Remember. Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Get it? Because it's a dome? <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. <laughs> that was an awful joke, by the way, Allison. <laughs> I'm not surprised he didn't laugh. Nope, got a toy in there. We want to go inside and Jesus. get the toy. How do you always get me? <laughs> I'm sneaky like that. I didn't even see you actually, so uh, that was my bad. <laughs> he, he apparently scared Allison, but uh, not me, because I didn't even see it. What's up the stairs over here? It looks like we have Are another memory over there. Demolishing this playground? Yeah, tourists complained it wasn't safe. Right, baby. Playground should be ground zero for natural selection. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, Delos Crossing is too cheap to replace it. Yeah. <clears throat> Had a few bad moments on a playground myself. But but safe is is isn't fun, you know. Yeah, I keep hearing like noises here, like somebody mowing or something, and I think it's outside, and I'm like, uh oh, please don't interfere with the recording, but it's not. I want to have the crispy tocino, and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Oof. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Ugh. Sorry, they, they said coconut cake and I lost all appetite. I hate coconut. Although, garlic fried rice sounds really good. I love garlic in basically everything. Okay, so what else we got here? No way. Tom Vecchi's running for office? Uh-oh. Apparently, yes. Yeah, I guess. If he actually goes through with it. He never struck me as the ambitious type. Oh, so it's just somebody you know. Got a, uh... Interesting, uh... Kinda... Uh, racist little, uh, totem pole here. Seems. Just a, just, just, just a, just a wee bit. <laughs> Tessa tried to spirit that sign away a couple years ago, but Tom put it back. He loves that cheesy slogan. Veni Vidi. Oh, I just got it. That's kind of funny, actually. It's been up here for ages. Excuse me for not being hip to Julius Caesar at 11. Also, I was probably too busy dodging your snowballs to notice. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Bible study with Father Baltista. Protect oceans or the go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles. I like the human popsicles. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Sign it. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. 
it's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Sign it! You, you can put your own address here. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Well, crazy we that they for? haven't caught him Let's yet. Go shopping. Well, I come on, man. I gotta look at everything over here, you know? Wanna experience all the game's got. Extreme bubblegum. We can't get any extreme bubblegum. It certainly looks pretty extreme. Extremely nasty. Gospel concert. Alright, come on, Tyler. Let's go in. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Well, uh, he seemed like, you know, surprised and everything, but once again didn't seem like immediately hostile to Tyler, which is nice. And didn't like... So, cleaning products. You think we should get the organic one? Or the industrial strength planet killer? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause this. Because it just saved there, so we're gonna be ending the video here. But at least, um... This man didn't, like, misgender Tyler or anything like that. Or call him by his old name and all of that stuff. So, that's good, at least. I'm sure we're gonna run into some big assholes at some point, but uh, for now, things seem fine. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tell Me Why, and I will see you next time.